Words are the most powerful weapon on this planet known as Earth. Two met up and where you met and something like that. Okay. We met online. We, we played. Um, we used to go to website and Pogo, and we'd um, play solitaire. Mm. And you'd play your cards, and while you were playing cards, you'd chat to the people in the room. And I discovered that Lola had done. Um, chronic fatigue, just like I did. And so we started talking about chronic fatigue and then we went on from there. Hmm, what? <laughs> Normally I think it looks disgusting myself. I've got nothing against the people. I think it looks bad anyway. But it's also, it goes completely against the Word of God. To, to me, that is abomination. It looks disgusting to say abomination against the people. I think it looks bad anyway. Abomination. That's an abomination. But fornication. My precious sheep, look with me unto the testament of the old. From the words of our Lord. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5, following. A woman must not wear man's clothing. Nor a man wear woman's clothing. For the Lord your God detests anyone who does this. This, my flock, is an abomination and a perversion and a sin unto the Lord Jehovah our God. All right, my people. The New Testament, the book of Romans, chapter 1, starting at verse 26. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lust. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. In the same way that men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed indecent acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their perversion. My fellow sheep, this is a perversion and a sin and an abomination unto the holy law that I God on the most high. Send it! Yes, 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 no. Now we've got De Niro for this one. Hoffman, Pacino, Brando. I want to interview you, Kenny. 
They don't want you. Well, that's Mary and Lola don't want you to interview them. They don't want you coming around and annoying them, wasting their time. They can be doing something much better than talking to you. No, no, no. Stop your carry on and nonsense. God. I go he. Why can't you be more like your brother? I mean, how many people have you ever interviewed in your entire life? It's going to be a complete disaster. They don't even like you. They only talk to you because they have to. At that stage, I was in another relationship with another woman, which I hadn't come out about. And after I informed her that I had been in a same-sex relationship, she started changing towards me and started making implications that she was quite interested. previously told Mary that I was somewhat homophobic. Um, I also had feelings of attraction to Mary. I was still in my 30 year long marriage at that point. Um, but as time went on and Mary and my relationship turned from friends to admitting that we loved each other, um, my homophobia totally disappeared. I see what you mean, yes, yes, we'll get a white one on that.
Okay, so if you could just tell us where the two of you met and how you got together, that'll be fine. We met each other online on, on the internet. Uh, it was a game site called Pogo, where we used to um, play cards and play mini solitaire and uh, started to chat and get to know each other and develop from there.